Hello and welcome back to the Hard West. We are about to go into the sixth scenario for now, which is called In Gold We Trust, and it seems to be vaguely uh, related to the very first scenario that we have played. It seems to be a new character. I hope for now it's the first character that's not either a complete douchebag, uh, a murderer, hobo, assassin, uh, traitor, or cultist leader. That would be a refreshing start for now. Alvaro Vasquez sought fortune, fame, and adventure. So when an ambitious inquisitor told him a Mayan legend about a lost and mysterious city of gold, he listened carefully. Such a find would cement his place in history and make him a very wealthy man. Vain as he was, he believed it was his destiny. But word of the expedition spread quickly and the undertaking was in peril before it even began. Hired thugs captured Vasquez and his companions. They tortured the Inquisitor, hoping he would reveal the location of the city. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure which Inquisitor they captured. I hope it is Grand Inquisitor Cervantes, uh, because that douchebag is still alive. We only killed his right hand. Vasquez broke free, but found himself alone and outgunned. His associates needed help. The best way to give it to them was to acquire as much firepower as possible. So we got ourselves into a preparation stage. I don't want to force anything here. If we can avoid conflict, let's get our friends first. Open the door to Diego's cell to free him. Done deal. Where are all of his friends? Who got you? Oh, look at that. Gabriel de Cervantes. That's the Inquisitor. Love it. So we're continuing his story. Vasquez freed his old friend, Diego. Two more of Vasquez's companions still needed his help. Well, we're going to take care about that in a second. Diego here has scavenger as an ability, but has a really, really bad weapon. It seems as if they have given the characters only the worst possible weapons available. Well, hello there, look at that. Vasquez's mentor, Senor Zacharias, thanked him for liberating him. The enemy still held one of his men captive. So, we still need to go for the Grand Inquisitor. He has one of the worst weapons uh, available as well. A 
there is an option uh, procure better weapons so we might want to use that Stick him up, buddy. We are almost there. So let's get the better weapons. Vasquez didn't feel so defenseless anymore. Nice. We just got at least shotguns. I mean, it's a single shotgun, but. It's really better than nothing. This here isn't going to be super simple. I think that's going to be pretty rough. They've got a nice little stranglehold on the Grand Inquisitor. Look at that, both of uh, them face one another. And we're looking at two times six hit points, which is difficult as well. All right, moving in. I am thinking about positioning myself like here. One, two, three. Okay. Well, uh, if I'm not malinformed, this weapon should have two bullets. Let's start. I am not malinformed. That worked out well. Oh my gosh, that did not go according to plan. Nice little extra damage. There we go. We're going to suffer, that's for sure. And we need better uh, positions. We're very much on the chopping block here. It 
See, that's what I don't like about this game. Uh, you can't really choose your pathing individually. If we were to move up here, we would definitely open this flank, and that's an issue. But we need to kill these guys, like, really fast. They are in half cover. Fortunately, not dealing enough damage against those uh, thugs. It's only one point of damage. We could move up to here. Please take simpler shots. Let's start over here, which is relatively easy. Reload, change weapon, and deal five damage. There we go. We do not have enough luck. So we're going to be hit uh, during the next shot. We can decide whether or not we want it to be mildly unpleasant, i.e. just an injury, or if someone shoots us from the side, which is probably going to hurt a lot. And I would say we're going for mildly um, unpleasant, which means we're going into a deeper cover. We're going to reload our weapon, a musket, to give him a proper sniper shot. Moving into full cover. Opening the door. Now that's one damage instead of four. Likewise, one damage instead of four. This here would trigger a reaction shot. This here, I'm not sure. Um, likely it's going to trigger a reaction shot. Really not sure. Um, we do have enough luck to advance. I was hoping I could see this guy. Fortunately, I can't. Apparently we, even with the spread, normally I thought uh, I thought that we could hit targets that are not, um, that cannot be seen, but apparently that's not the case. Oh wow, two of them there. We're reloading. Okay, so S for ricochet shots. This here would be an excellent ricochet shot. And we might want to really move to here. I don't like the half cover a lot. This guy has us pinned. Could move up to here and finish him. Could move up to here and actually finish him. Let me think about that for a second. Um, this here... It's unfortunately not a really good cover because it's open towards this side. If it would be solid cover, I would even consider taking it. Because it's not bad. I mean... Would get rid of this gentleman. And this here could work. Uh, 
Vasquez freed Cervantes, there we go. But the reason why I wanted to kill him is I figured we would get... The uh, crew was determined to drive all the bandits from the camp. We would get Cervantes for free, and we did. Moving here is not a good idea. It's super against this guy, by the way. We have two turns, so might as well start injuring him. Which worked like a charm. And then taking full cover. Well, that was a mistake, buddy. Okay, so this apparently does not trigger a shot. That's good to know. And we're going to reload. Can't move all the way over there, but we certainly can move to here. Oh shit, there's another one there. Back into full cover. Never mind. Reloading. We're short on luck. But I think we can still kill this guy. Nope, we can't. Gosh, they are positioning themselves in such a bad place, but still we can't really hit them. That's only three damage, and we don't have the shotgun loaded. Shit. Not my best mission, guys. A lot of rookie mistakes. Okay, so we're finally good on our luck department. <laughs> but we can't hit the ricochet target. Oh, oh my god. Sometimes when it pours, it rains. And I feel this is one of those moments. I could have gone to here, but the problem is that we would be uh, in a flankable position. So of course you don't want to do that. Cervantes moving up, taking matters into his own hand. He could flank us from here. That's a very poor position to be at. I think we're still going to take this position because the chest offers us cover against shots through the window. Okay, so... Wait a second, are you telling me this guy is still in cover apparently? We're depleting his luck, because now 
We can reload and kill him with a sniper. Reloading. I must congratulate this guy because it's a combination of me not calculating his luck correctly, his pretty decent position there. And just the absolute atrocious weapons that we're having that even let him stand there for rounds after rounds after rounds. So we're going to reload now. Sniper unfortunately took a lot of damage whilst we were freeing um, Cervantes here. I wish I had a decent weapon. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. That should teach us uh, specifically with weapons, uh, which only have like one shot, you should be very mindful of when you're reloading and how to use your actions. Get out of uh, line of sight. Moving over in the cover. And we know that the other guy is is the last remaining enemy. Okay, I think we got it. Finally, the camp was theirs. 
I have played that mission so bad. At many, at many cases, uh, I've miscalculated luck. And I must say also... Camp ...would make an excellent, if temporary, home base. They would need to secure some manpower and supplies to keep them fed. Unfortunately, Inquisitor Cervantes was in no shape to accompany them. They left him behind, hoping he would still be breathing when they returned. Okay, we got our deadly Derringer from Cervantes, and that's pretty much it. Got a couple of cards here. We got a sniper card, that's fine. And we already know that our sniper has a substantial amount of luck. So maybe we can also give him the King of Spades. Well, he only has 100, so maybe I was overestimating it. Scavenger. Let's use a pair at least. Better than nothing. Gosh, we do have really, really, really bad guns. The pover uh, poverty uh, stricken village seemed like a good place to acquire manpower. 50 men expressed willingness to join the expedition and served as va uh, Vasquez peons. They asked for 500 in return. It was a pricey sum, but they knew they would they, uh, keep the expedition and they did not have a choice. After the transaction, a man who had been watching from afar approached them offered his gun and his leadership, said his name was David O'Connell and that uh, he knew the local well. He replied that adventure was its own reward, but that he wouldn't say no to a piece of whatever wealth of the expedition turned up. When Vasquez asked how he could be sure that O'Connell was one of La Fortuna's hired guns, the stranger replied, they'll watch for me, pointing at several of La Fortuna's, hanging, um, hanging, uh, La Fortuna's men hanging from a tree. Sakirates thought it was risky. Diego uh, shrugged and said they were doomed either way. Vasquez agreed to let uh, O'Connell join. Not hiding his enthusiasm, O'Connell assured them that he, they would be glad of his company. Well, we will see about that. Here's a farmhouse. Before we go anywhere, I'd like to see if we have a fate trader somewhere. Because the fate trader apparently is stationed in every single of uh, these scenarios and it contains like common loot the whole uh, the whole items that you normally um, that you normally unlock in the wilderness they found a rundown but still operational farm when they approached the farmers leveled gun uh, guns at the group but diego found uh, the right words uh, lay their fears still the farmers were anything but hospitable the owners made a single offer and did not tolerate attempts to haggle. 300 for a pile of food, he spotted it by pointing the guns at it. The men accepted the money and walked off, saying they could come back later if they needed more. Well, we got 50 men and 100 food. Vasquez told his men to set cat up, uh, camp up by the ruins. The group's new goal was to find a way across the river. Meanwhile, the Inquisitor's uh, state was worsening. They would need to patch him up and set him back before moving on. The expedition's current mine camp, uh, where all supplies and peons were located, along with an injured man. So we can send out scouts, check on the health of the men. Check on the health of Posse. Organize hunts. Or we could check on Cervantes, whom I hope uh, the, the worst disease will, uh, will uh, catch up with this guy. We scout out. The scouts could be sent to explore the areas. Let's inspect the riverbank. They discovered a near-wrecked uh, steamboat. Downriver, Pions discovered an old dog. 
seems to be an ideal spot for crossing over the river via raft. The expedition's current main camp. Let's send out more scouts. And we're going down, uh, down to the west. The scouts discovered a location downriver that seemed perfect for fishing and mining gold. They also spotted an old sawmill. What could be punctured there? It seems like a good spot for hunting. Let's organize a hunt. Six peons were sent out on a hunt. And we got some food. Oh, it's cool. Some members of the post had suffered major injuries. Injuries require treatment. Well, let's do that. Oh, damn, we healed Diego's injuries. That was not our plan. Oh, we lost one man at the hunt. Interesting. Feverish and riddled with open wounds, Cervantes muttered uh, darkly about angels, uh, angels and demons as he twisted the puddle of blood and sweat. They could have sent him off in the state, but having uh, Sakias patch him up first would be a smarter option. We do not need manpower for now. So we got the Western River Bank. Eight peons were ordered to mine gold in the river. They successfully mined some gold. Well, that's a very slow way. So here we could get some gold if we were desperately needing it. A uh, wrecked steamboat could be found on the riverbank. It looked like it has been there for several years. Through it has been uh, looted. Uh, it could be dismantled for raft wood. Uh, wood. Within hours, every usable piece of it had been removed from the shipwreck. Got 22 out of 40 uh, wood pieces now. And in the trapper shop, oh nice, we got some weapons to offer. Well, I must say I am not very impressed about the selection of weapons here. But considering that we don't really have a choice at the moment, might want to get uh, the bogan guns. And whilst we're at it, The medical bags, I mean, these are really very bad quality. I think they only heal three hit points. But since we don't have anything else and we're a bit short on supplies, might want to use it. Old sawmill. Let's search for wood. We got a decent amount of wood. And whilst we're at it, We got all the wood we need. 
lost a couple of men, and why exactly have I not seen that Fate Trader? Gosh. Wow, nice. We also got baby number nine now. I would still go for the cannon. And that would replace someone's deadly deringer. Probably the one of our main character. So we can buy a couple of really nice weapons here, once we get more money, that should be a thing. So we're giving everyone at least a weapon that's somewhat usable. Double shotgun is okay. He has a sniper. Yeah, everyone has an okayish gun now. Alligators attack the peons, force them to flee. Let's try it again. Damn. So we could get some gratis uh, injuries here and a lot of gold. I don't mind the injuries. With the proper amount of weapons, I am confident that we can do this scenario. Let's try accumulating a couple of the wounds. We got almost enough to get another uh, weapon out of it. And it seems uh, once you have enough wounds and uh, they can't get any more, uh, this here appears to be a pretty decent gold mine for additional funds. Not sure if that's intended, but look at uh, the cash. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you can get more injuries. So let's, let's fast forward that just for shits and giggle. I'd like to see how that one ends. Apparently we can't lose any of our members. There's a lot of cash that uh, we can get here. It's way better than the other spot 
where it takes uh, where you get like seven and eight. And once everyone has the wounds, uh, apparently there is a maximum of uh, wounds that you could get. So. Having enough cash means we can get decent weapons, and with decent weapons I feel that we can take on the enemies quite easily. Not sure how badly we're going to be wounded. It's going to be a matter of a couple of wounds per, uh, per person. But certainly having the alligators uh, biting us and giving us severe wounds has led us to have one HP on every single character with the exception of David O'Connell. Uh, we have three essential characters, which means David O'Connell, you're going to be the guy that is taking the shots, the brunt of uh, the damage. Now let's take a look at our cards. We do not have any dodge, so we will need to rely on luck alone, and we will need to have the most possible luck. And we will need to refill luck, because otherwise we're going to um, take an instant kill. So we're taking the Doomsday. I like the baby number nine. And I think the aim monocle could work as well for us. So, looking at the words here. I think a dexterous elixir might be a good idea. Because defense also means we're going to lose less luck when being shot at. You know what? We could even heal the guys. Uh, that's a bit ridiculous because you can make almost unlimited uh, money. Let's heal O'Connell and actually do it hard mode. O'Connell is going to be our tank. And we're helping Inquisitor Cervantes. Cervantes was resting now, his condition was better now that uh, Zacharias has done some work on him, but uh, he was known in no state to continue the journey. Uh, they had two peons carry Cervantes to the next Wild town. and shouting, Cervantes called to Vasquez as the peons carried him off. Grasping Vasquez's arm like a drowning man, he raved that they must follow the Red Star. All right. Diego shook his head sadly. Zacharias merely raised an eyebrow. Vasquez would never forget the raw conviction in the Inquisitor's eyes. So here's the deal. Not only do we have almost no movement, 
Boy, David, you're going to carry this one. I'm telling you, buddy. You're going to have baby number nine and this rifle. And your aim is atrocious, so we're going to give you that weird monocle. Just so that you are hitting uh, stuff. Doomsday watch for our sniper to get some more damage in. And I think, oh nice, increases maximum hit points. <laughs> Maybe we should buy some liquor to increase the maximum hit points. Let's see if that works, because you can't have less than one hit point. No, we don't need anything here. Farmhouse. Nope. Well, we only have one bottle of liquor, that's it. And I think we can't buy anything in the village. Nope. Well, like I said, we're going to man mode this. Let's go to the old docks. Everything was in place. They could start the operation soon. Uh, constructing the rafts and loading the men and supplies onto uh, them would take time, however. Um, and Vasquez had a feeling that they had been noticed. He and his pos prepared for uh, uh, to stand guard while the peons built the loaded rafts. O'Connell suggested that he could supervise the peons instead of standing guard. Uh, no, they started the operation together with O'Connell because he's going to be the ma main um, the main guy for us. Let's hope that I'm not going to regret this. I mean, that's really hard mode. But the cool part about it is if we actually survive two uh, of the fights, one, two, three, four, five, six severe wounds on three characters will turn into a very, very powerful uh, advantage for us. Basket needed to hold La Fortuna's men at bay until the rafts were loaded. Well, we're going to see about that. As the peons began loading the rafts, La Fortuna's men attacked. Vasquez and his crew held the invaders off as long as they could. Meanwhile, the peons continued hauling supplies. Heal yourself using medical supplies? We could maybe hold off bandits until additional provisions are loaded. Ten turns optional. Well, that's not the best mission, to be honest, to start with only one person. Moving into full cover. I think this here is our sniper. Just out of curiosity, do we have any ricochet option? No, we don't. I wouldn't have figured as uh, I wouldn't have guessed as much. Might as well put ourselves behind full cover. David O'Connell. Rushes in because he's going to be the one that's taking the brunt of the damage. <laughs> we can't even move because we are so crippled. There you go. Starting to take the first shots. And boy, it's on. Okay, so we could trade even more luck for, edi uh, for additional targets that we're going to hit. Not sure if I want to do that yet. Well, 
Askis is moving in, full cover. Going to drink that bottle of liquor once our luck runs out. So we actually have more than one hit point then. Okay, here we go. Getting a little prayer, less sight. Let's just see additional enemies, not the worst idea. One bruiser is down. I think we could... Ah, well, that's only a 39% chance to hit. Damn you. What about this one? That's a decent uh, uh, chunk of damage. I think we're okay giving in a bit of luck. Gosh, we missed that one. Unfortunate. One down, thousands to go. Gosh, everyone has such a bad luck, uh, bad aim. Forty-five percent. What the heck? Just making sure that we're not being flank from the other side. Reload the sniper rifle. And this here would be the medical supplies. Which I think we're not going to do that. Although, I don't know. Let's try to hold off the bandits as long as we can for now. I mean, so far I haven't seen terrible amount of enemies. Moving in, just a little bit closer. No enemies again? Well, maybe the game assumes that you're still having the crappy weapons and does not know that you can actually buy decent weapons. So it basically thought that the three thugs here would be a challenge. I don't know. Since there is no one, let's just shortly scout. Okay, back there we do have two enemies, okay, fair enough, but I'm certainly not going to move into their direction, we just gotta hold, out, uh, hold on here. Not a single enemy. Whew. 
Ooh, got you. Okay. Well, this guy over there indeed causes some trouble. Hmm. Can't really get him. These guys here are not relevant currently. Yeah, I guess we're just going to go back into cover and we need to go onto this side to make sure that we're not being flanked. And turn. That was the right call. Well, we got a couple of them moving in. Wait a second, we can lead with a shot of um, our little gun. That's one down, good job. Should kill as many of them as po uh, as possible during this turn. Let's try to get um, our legs bonus. Now it's blessed sight again. Ah, too bad. I was hoping that we would get blessed legs, because then we could have moved up to here and actually killed someone. This here is not far enough to take a shot means we're going to move up to here and basically up to here putting ourselves into half cover so they can take shots at us the enemy usually favors to shoot into half cover because it uh, reduces more luck and David at the moment is also with at 16 luck so I suppose they will focus him just to deal some damage. And that's really it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so switching weapons. We know that the guy with five hit points is about to die because he is completely out of luck. We have depleted his luck last turn. There we go. He's down. And this here should take care about, uh, of the other one, but it doesn't. Which means it's on us to finish this guy. All right. We've been holding them off pretty long. I 
I'm not sure if the game will give us an option to hold them off for two more turns or if we can just flee. Most of the supplies were loaded. They can make a run for it now or try to hold the enemies off, giving the peons time to load absolutely everything. We're of course, trying to give our peons some more time. We are using the time to reload. Haven't seen any enemies so far. Should have probably started moving over because our movement speed is so incredibly slow. Yeah, look at that. I mean, our we take like two or three turns just to move. There we go. The enemy has found us. were loaded it was time to leave I wish uh, we could already leave Okay, so we're putting ourselves like in this position and yeah, I mean we're we're basically just trying to survive. Here we go. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so that's one out of two missions with only one hit point. Let's take a brief look about uh, of uh, what we managed to acquire. So first and foremost, we still have like hundreds of wounds, right? Um, Second of all, we got two aces with a bonus to luck, which tells me that we might want to use the plus 15 aim bonus. But the question is if we rather want to use it on our sniper. Because that's at least raising his aim to uh, 75. So at least every shot is going to be a hit. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Alternatively, we can use two aces per person and just give them the plus four movement. 
which might be not the worst idea to be honest because uh, they are currently so unbelievably slow yeah let's go for that option so we're looking at three we're looking at plus uh, plus four movement 30 luck wouldn't be bad either That's the bonus for three of a uh, for a pair of three, but I think we at least need to have movement in order to get somewhere. Like his movement is currently 11, 11, and 11. Well, that's not great, but it is certainly not as bad as we thought earlier. Let's send out scouts. The North Woods discovered an old military outpost which appeared abandoned. And to the east, the scouts discovered a number of interesting locations. To the east, among them, an abandoned mine and an old mansion and a dam. Let's hunt for the guys. Because we need food. So if we're organizing a hunt, we're sometimes getting some food. Okay, the worst thing that could happen is we're getting some extra wounds, but at this point we're actually past the stage of caring about wounds. So we're up to 114 food. Let's check the mansion. The mansion has once been magnific magnificent, but now the interior was ruined and cracked into dust. Uh, the men couldn't think who might have built in uh, who might have built in it in such a place. There might be useful items inside. Yes, of course. Got the nine of clubs. Got a pepper box. A pepper box is actually a pretty decent weapon. I'm surprised that we find it here. Short range. It's not bad. And we also got ourselves plus one hit point. Ooh. Who's going to be that lucky guy? Alvaro Vasquez, you have been chosen to have two hit points because you're the one with the lowest luck. God damn, he's tanky. The peons filled buckets with water. This was not an easy feat as the buckets were almost as bad as the state of the dam. Uh, that explained why the former owners had left it behind. The peons uh, procured a decent amount of water, but the second run uh, was out of question. Well, that's well, not too bad. The mining operation was a success. The men came back with a fair amount of gold. Well... Some of our guys are dying, and we're okay on gold. Twelve men were sent into the building. Inside, the peons took a group of armed men by surprise. The peons easily overpowered them, forcing them to surrender. Um, continue, a handsome, well-dressed man revealed himself to Weskers, laughing at the misunderstanding that has just taken place. He introduced himself as the famous adventurer Victor Sankov. Never heard of him. He said that the expedition has been attacked by strange people with native complexion but European dress. He had been holed up ever since. Sankov proposed that he and his remaining men join Vasquez. He knew that the way led them through the fold and helped by natives and had developed a plan of getting past it. He knew uh, when the few, where the fewest guard would be and uh, how to cripple the reinforcements. We accepted the offer. Diego, showing no interest in engaging in the fierce warriors, decided that he would stay back and uh, the camp and look after the peon. Uh, wait a second. Wh 
Wait a second. No, 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 no. Diego. <laughs> what the heck? Now we traded one character who only needed one more adventure to uh, to become uh, like the master of scars for a random guy. Uh. That's unclever. Anyways, taking a couple of weapons that I like, leather boots. And chances to hit the target, uh, the enemy target. I even am thinking about the protector ring, but I think we're fine for now. We have a couple of weapons that shoot once. So, the peculiar village was inhabited by curious folk who had dark complexions but dressed like Europeans. They never spoke, but at the sight of gold they made uh, the plain they were willingly join um, Vasquez. Uh, ten men for hundred? Yes. I think we're fine. Forty-three men are more than enough. There's a massacre site. The site was covered with hundreds of dead bodies. Judging by the state, the bodies had been there for decades. Vasquez had no idea what caused it. Um, we are retrieving a lot of items. Ten, me uh, ten men thoroughly checked the entire site, spending a fair amount of valuables among the bodies. Suddenly, they heard a single thunderclap from the north sound like a monstrous growl. Vasquez assured the men that it was nothing. Uh, but in truth, he was uneasy with his decision. Suddenly, he was uh, he was overcome with weakness. Ooh. Well, we got new cards, and that's what counts. We got the go golden bullet, finally. Very nice. I think we do have... another great option like giving four of a kind and then another pair or wait a second if we were to use this here that would give us plus 30 maximum luck for uh, for the bonus of having a full house And it would treat us quite well, so yeah, we're going to stick with that. A pair here. And I think that's pretty much it. We have Scavenger. I'm, I'm still miffed that we have Victor Sankov, a guy that I didn't even want to have, instead of our highly, highly um, injured uh, friend was just about to get all of the benefits. Doomsday Watch. Uh, we have a nice little uh, Duckfold pistol here. Ivany Flink's Shot Pistol. Short range, 8 damage, 1 ammunition. Okay, well, that's, that's a difficult weapon. We're taking the Cannon Cavera. Matter of fact, we should have a second one of these. Oh, wait a second. We Here's the second cannon. Yeah, I think weapon-wise we're fine. I 
I think weapon wise we're fine. Okay, so our next uh, option is to deploy people at the eastern and western uh, pass. Do I need anything from the Fate Trader before we go and fight? I think we're fine. I mean, this weapon here also looks awesome, just in terms of ammunition, 5 damage, 18 shots, like, oh, it's not bad. No, I think we're going to be fine. Alrighty, so moving on to the four. That would be our first break. Uh, we are already one hour in, and I think uh, this is where we are going to take um, a break. If you've liked what you've seen, please leave a comment uh, down below and specifically tell me what you like about uh, the massive uh, injuries that we have uh, taken. I think that's a quite fun way of playing the game. Um, see you in the next episode when we're hopefully getting a lot of benefits from it. Take care.